I've done musical comedy, but that was long ago And since then I've done cosplay, vlogs, a cooking show Speed drawings, well I've done a few Skateboarding and funny skits, I've done that too So maybe I'll do a review So I wrote this little song for my new show, Rants Rants Will somebody please cue that voice? Summarize the forget Oh yeah! Yeah, this was actually a thing Back when it was on TV, I had a friend who would always watch it, and she would never stop talking about it the next day, so naturally it piqued my interest. I didn't really get into this show, and I don't really know much about it, other than there's cats who are samurai, and I think they like pizza. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but I mean, that's what I gather from the title. Wow, how do you get that good? The concept was strange enough as a kid, but then again, cartoons were weird in general. I mean, we had Ninja Turtles who were teenagers and lived in the sewer, we had a hedgehog who wore red sneakers and was best friends with a two-tailed fox, and the, the plumber fought dragons and ate mushrooms, and I mean, till this day, I still have no idea what the Animaniacs are. So I guess Samurai Pizza Cats were a little more on the normal side of animation. You know, speaking of animation, I always wondered why the art style of this show was so different from other cartoons on TV. It wasn't until I decided to review this did I find out that the show was actually from Japan and it was called Kato Ninden Tayandi, which according to Wikipedia means Cat Ninja Legend Tayandi. What does that mean? They didn't even tell us what. Oh, and it was produced by Saban Entertainment, the same people who tried to resurrect Mask Rider and are currently doing the Power Rangers Super Mega Force. You know how much I love that. <laughs> One interesting thing about Samurai Pizza Cats that I thought was worth mentioning is the amount of cameos it has in other TV shows. I mean look, here it is in Mask Rider and this is the very first unaired episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and there it is playing in the background. Saban must have been really proud of this cartoon. Man, this is really weird. I didn't intend to do another review on an Americanized show from Japan, I swear. I just remember this show and I thought it would make a good episode, but I guess there's no escaping Saban. I already started writing this review, so there's no turning back. <sighs> Let's begin. One tuna and liver meatball pizza for Lucille, and make sure it gets there hot. Lucille, hubba, hubba, hubba. What? Did... Did Saban do that, or is that actually how they got around? What is this? I mean, it, was this even how it was? I can't get over how they just slide around on the ground uh, and up buildings? Hey, Samurai Pizza Cats, Gumby called, he wants his walk cycle back. And at least Gumby made an effort to try and walk most of the time. You can't just make the background move while your characters are standing still. What the hell kind of animation is that? There once was a beauty named Lucy, whose pretty puss could make a pussy cat real. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. So the blue cat's a perv and the white cat's... On steroids? Jesus Christ! Oh my god, is everyone in this town a weapon? At this point, I should bring you up to date on what's happening in our story. The only problem is I can't figure it out myself. <sighs> what I understand so far is that we're in Little Tokyo, where Samurai Pizza Cats are a pizza delivery company, and apparently they're like the Powerpuff Girls in a sense that when the city calls on them, they come to the rescue. They said their names once, but I can't even pronounce two of them, so I'm just gonna call the blue one Blue Cat, and the same one White Cat, last one Red Cat, and there, it's easy enough, done. I am not gonna even comment on the fight scenes. I mean, it looks like the editor had massive ADHD and has just threw a bunch of repeating clips together. Let's see how you handle this! What is... What is that? Is that his dick? Okay, moving on. Oddly enough, this show has a way of keeping you hooked to watch more episodes, expecting them to get better, but they never do. Just, just look at this. I I can't tell if the cat's eye was meant to do that or if someone messed up when they used the cut and paste tool to stick his eyeball outside of his helmet. Not only that, but these cats are really mean to their customers as well as each other. But Molly's voice sounds like kitty litter in a trash compactor or a huge parrot that's trapped inside a lawnmower. Please! You place an order if I may? We're busy. Yeah. But you men are all the same. You think we're slaves or something? I thought it was... 
But it seems that no matter how bad the customer service is, people still eat there because... Yay, deliver! And how do they deliver their pizzas, you might ask? By shooting themselves out of a giant revolver built on the top of their pizza shop? Mighty Mouse gets better velocity! <laughs> okay, that, that was kind of funny. This show is really inconsistent. Some animals speak only in rhyme, others are robots, a few of them are like weapons of mass destruction, and every once in a while they break the fourth wall. Why? I, I, I don't get it. Why? Hey, if we don't make this show funny, we're in big trouble! Funny? <laughs> you know, I half expected to see Deadpool pop out wearing like a Japanese kimono or something. Oh look, there he is. The thing about this show is when they break the fourth wall, they do it so that only adults would understand. I mean, it's not to say that the jokes are rated R. I, I hear, just listen. You're so heroic, like Sean Connery. What? I don't think any kid watching this back then would know who that is, and it doesn't make sense why she would compare him to Sean Connery. But I understand where the writers are coming from. Animaniacs did a similar thing where they would have jokes that go right over the kids' heads and make it entertaining for the parents who were forced to watch it with them. All of the shops are closing. Things couldn't get much worse. Even my nuts are frozen. Be careful with that last verse. Only difference is that Animaniacs was actually funny. As for the rest of the show, what do you expect? I mean, there's not much more to say. The jokes are hit or miss. The animation slowly gets better, but not by much. And the cat's names are hard to remember. Well, I guess that's the end of this review. I mean, there's nothing more I can say about it, so let's roll the credits. We hope you like the show. It's the best that we could do. Well, then I guess we'll have to try harder next time. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Oh, 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 are, are, are you challenging me? You... You, you think that I can't make a better show? I'll, 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 all right, you're on. I'll I'll make a better show. I'll make the best reboot of Samurai Pizza Cats America's ever seen. Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh, yeah. Who do you call when you want to? Okay, you win. It's harder than I thought. Hey everyone, Grand Vegeta here. Thank you so much for watching my latest episode of Grant's Rants. I'm sorry to say though, this will be the last episode. It takes so much time for me to put these together and generally it would take me about a month to make the first two episodes. So even though there's only three, it's gonna be a trilogy of um, a little series, I guess. Overall, I'm, I'm so happy that you guys have supported me through all this time. You know, like a lot of you have been asking uh, if I was gonna do any more of this because you guys like the Power Rangers one that I did. But I'm sorry to say, it just, it takes so much time. A lot of the time that I spend on this, I could be spending it on other projects that I can pump out a lot quicker. And that I will eventually have more enjoyment making because I've been stressed out a lot with these projects. But I wanted to finish this before I move on to my next style of content, which is going to be heavily anime, cosplay, you know, music based. We've got um, a couple of uh, in real life videos, like uh, kind of like my Sanji one over here. We've got cosplay for doodles and anime rants, but that's kind of going to be like the predecessor of this show where we're going to be having guests on here. We're going to talk about all kinds of anime and things like that. And overall, I think you guys will enjoy it. I would just want to say thank you guys for all you've done. New videos coming soon. I'm going to put an update as well as, you know, like just telling you guys what's been going on. If you don't follow me on Instagram and all that, you probably should. I mean, that's where I post most of my pictures. You can get a lot of updates on that. My fan page as well, you can check that out too. But a lot of what goes on my fan page will eventually go on Twitter. So you can follow me on Twitter over there. Or over here, wherever I'm. But either way, thank you guys so much. It's very late. I'm very tired. And I'll see you guys on the next video.